This morning brings us to the Sturkfontein Caves in the Cradle of Humankind. Our tour guide this morning is Becky. What are we going to see? Uh, inside the Sturkfontein Caves, so we're going to see uh, the stalactites, the stalagmites, natural formations of the cave. We're also going to go uh, through narrow passages of which, before we go through those narrow passages, we will see an underground lake. And there is an elephant chamber down there. The things that are also going to see are the places where the fossils were discovered. So what we have to do now is just go and explore what is happening down there. Exciting. Right. So how far underground are we going to go, Becky? 60 meters deep under the ground. 60 meters? Yes. And Not too far. Point, <laughs> the lowest point is where we do have an underground lake, of which now we are in the lowest point of the cave. This is the underground? Oh, is wow! No crocodiles are living down here. Is there anything living down here? Blind shrimps, scientifically okay. known as the amphipods. Uh. They are whitish in color, one centimeter fully grown. Mm -hmm. They feed on bacteria inside this water. It looks good enough to swim in. Very good. Yeah, yeah. go for a little dip when it gets too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this white stuff on top, which is known as limestone. So basically, this is what led the miners to the cave. They were looking for this limestone so that they could mine it out and use it to manufacture cement, sometimes extracting gold from ore. So it was in great demand in those times, 1896. Looks like ice. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. So we're going to go up these steps now? Yes, these steps are the ones that are leading us outside and are the ones also that are leading us to those narrow tunnels that I spoke about. It's going to be very interesting now because you're going to bend, crawl, or sometimes like... Bend and crawl? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real workout, this entire... Yeah. 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 How many steps have we got to get back up? Back up, basically, we, 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 we've got 125 uh, steps going back up. Nice. <laughs> and onto the narrow caves. Narrow tunnels. Narrow tunnels, okay. So I feel like I'm leading the way now, Becky. <laughs> I'm an explorer, yeah. an intrepid explorer. And these are the nice shoes to explore. Okay, this cave here now is very tiny. I don't know how we're going to fit in here. Let's try. Let me go in front. Uh, these narrow tunnels, it's a work hard for the day. This is very small, oh my gosh. So you take all the groups down here? A little bit scary, a little bit claustrophobic. <laughs> Quite exciting. What I like about these tunnels, they are one size but they fit everyone. Sure, everybody can fit into this. I'm glad we have you with us, Becky. Right, be very careful here. Okay? I'm gonna keep on going down, I'll see you in a minute. So I feel we're really deep underneath here now. Are we getting more than 60 meters? Nope. Basically now we are getting up. Okay, this is getting small again. So some groups, they might want to be selective about what members come on this. Okay. What is known as the cave walking. This, it does feel like we're back in caveman times. Yeah. Walking on all fours. Yeah. <laughs> Becky, did they find any gold or silver or anything down here? No, basically, what we know about is limestone. This is what we found. Gold, silver, and we haven't had anything. So what I can simply say is they need to find it. Okay. So we won't be finding any gold, any silver, any exciting jewels today. <laughs> Becky? As you can see, I've found my way out of the caves. I'm now enjoying the sunshine in the Marapang Hotel, where they have great conference facilities, not to mention this incredible view.
Adjacent to the Maripang Hotel is the Maripang Conference and Visitor Centre, which offers three conference rooms to cater for up to 500 people. Underneath is the Visitor Centre, where people can go to experience the history and elements of the world. Sounds intriguing. Well, that was quite an odd experience, but fun all the same. It just shows how much variety Hao Tang has to offer and how important to the history of culture the cradle of humankind is. Remember when every outing was a journey, and every journey was an adventure. The world was new, and you were its explorer. A world that went on for infinity, and the possibilities were endless. Remember when flying was easy. South African Airways brings the world to Africa, and takes Africa to the world.